The other day a priest friend sent me on some short prayers which children put together. Here's a few for you. Dear God, maybe Cain and Abel would not hate each other so much if they had their own rooms. It works with my brother. Sincerely, Larry. Dear God, we learned at school that Edison made light. But in Sunday school they said that you did it. So I bet he stole your idea. Sincerely, Donna. Dear God, if we come back as something else, please don't let me be Jennifer Horton because I hate her. Sincerely, Denise. Saint Therese of Lisieux was once asked to put into a sentence what she thought holiness to be. She said the following. Holiness was a disposition of the heart which makes us humble and pliant in the hands of God, conscious of our own weakness, but confident to the point of boldness in the goodness of our Heavenly Father. Now in putting it like this, she must have been inspired by today's Gospel passage. She saw as the surest way to heaven what she called spiritual childhood. Just as small children rely exclusively on their parents or carers, so we should have the same unbounded trust in God. When putting everything into his safe hands, especially things that worry us a lot, there should be no hesitation at all on our part that he will look after us. Things go a bit pear-shaped in our lives when we don't trust him as we should. Little children don't worry about where the next meal is going to come from or whether they will have a bed for the night. Neither do they dwell on the past or fret about the future, but they live in the present. If we did the same vis-a-vis -vis our Heavenly Father, a lot of our worries would dissolve into thin air. Nothing would be insurmountable. Jesus tells us, do not worry about what you're to eat or drink or wear or how you're to look or even what people think of you. It is the pagans of this world who are apprehensive about these things. The first reading mentions the godless. Now the problem with them is that they have no God to trust in. So they belittle people who believe by trying to undermine their faith and trust in the Almighty they tell them to grow up and live in the real world. This point is also brought out in the first reading. It reads, Let us lie in wait for the virtuous man since he annoys us and opposes our way of life. Some people flippantly say that religion is the underlying cause of all war and conflict in the world. I'm sure you've heard that. Well, St. James tells us today that the opposite is the case. This is what he says. The wisdom that comes down from above makes for peace, is kindly and considerate, is full of compassion and shows itself by doing good. If we adopt a childlike stance before God, the wisdom which we receive from above will indeed take precedence over our own limited perception of things and set us on the road to authentic holiness. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh.